This is the extended version of what blessings in love can I expect within the next three months? And is there anyone else that I should be aware of? Hello, I'm Avalon Kisby. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is where I try and add a little bit more explanation and a little bit more value to the very short TikToks that I get to do. If you are new to visiting, I do invite you to subscribe. I try and add to here fairly regularly. So we are going to be using four different decks today. We have <clears throat> the Ask the Tarot, one of my designs here, and that's where the questions come from. We have my newest deck, the Oracle of Avalon, and then we also have the Cosmic Oracle we will be using. And lastly, we're going to be using the Antique Anatomy Tarot. Okay. So the questions, what blessings in love can I expect within the next three months? I actually answered that using the oracle cards only and then went on to the second part of this question. Is there anyone else you need to be aware of with the actual tarot cards? If you don't do want to go see the actual card pull, YouTube only allows me to add a short for up to one minute. But if you go back to the actual TikTok under Avalon Kisby, then you will see the full card pull. Okay. So what came up with the Oracle of Avalon? It came up companionship, fly free, elucidate, brighter future, and transformation. Within the next three months, expect, expect to see a transformation. I truly believe that the collective that I am talking to, these ones here, already are very aware of what is probably going to be happening to them within the next three months in regards to love. They have already foreseen that there is, <clears throat> excuse me, a much brighter future that is coming for them, okay? That you have held on to this truth, you have known this truth and have remained faithful to it and have remained at peace as you've watched everything unfold. There is a companionship that is coming in. I love this little card. To me, it reminds me of two little odd bods. They might feel like little odd bods, but when they're together, they feel like there is a connection where they are both completely understood and can completely be their unique selves. With this fly free card, to me, there's two little house martins here, which are very much symbolic of um, being in touch with divinity and it is also one of loyalty and unity. These two flying free together is what this feels like. It feels like if there has been something that has um, kind of kept this relationship from really taking off, quite literally, about it flying free, um, then there is going to be this transformation. Okay? Now from the... From the Cosmic Oracle, we brought out two other cards, which were, and I still ask the same questions, of what blessings in love can you expect within the next three months? The first card that came out was Imagination is Real, and the next one that came out was Powerful. This is an extremely powerful dynamic that you have with this person. And no, it is not your imagination, as I keep on saying. This may be your higher self or spirit, or God, whatever you associate with, instructing you, telling you that this is your person, okay, and telling you if you've had the foresight and know what is going to be happening in the future, which I, I do, I feel, like I've said before, I feel that many within this collective already do know what is coming for them. This looks like a little crystal ball in some ways that she's holding, okay? Now the next question of is there anyone else that you need to be aware of? This was such an interesting card pull. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles that came in reverse, the Four of Wands, the Four of Swords, the Seven of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. Did anyone notice anything? We have all four, <laughs> all four fours that have shown up. Do you know that this is talking about stability? Something that is going to um, 
create something really stable in your life. Okay, so for one thing, I don't see another person in this, okay? However, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back and I'm going to come back to these in a minute. I want to talk about this. This is the biggest clue that potentially, if this has been a third party situation, for many, this may have been. Now, third party can mean another person, yes, but I can also be talking about other obstacles such as distance or such as family or, I don't know, you, each circumstance will be slightly different, but it came in the reverse position. Let's turn it up this way. Do you see, I've always seen this card as you and them. And this coin in the middle being some obstacle, whether this obstacle is another person. Okay, it came in the reverse. So this is meaning that this is going to be removed. By some form, this obstacle, or if there is another, somehow they are not going to be on the scene, is what this feels like, okay? It feels like some choices have been made. Now let's go back to these fours. Let's start with this card here, the four of wands. Okay, this to me has and is known as the 1111 card, a divine counterpart card. This may be somebody who you know has a journey that is entwined with your own. Okay, and wanting stability. To me, it feels like this person has gone through a transformation. In fact, this entire relationship has transformed both of you. But they have been going through a big, 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 big transformation recently. And... If they didn't know it before, which I believe that they did, but if they didn't know it before, they really do know now who you are to them. Okay, and they're wanting to come in with some sort of stability. They see this as a very rare connection and one that they want to invest in. This may have taken some really big decisions on their part and yours, perhaps, depending on which way we're viewing this. Okay, there may... That there may be some really big decisions, some that even cause, you know, sadness, having to let go, grief. Okay, not pleasing everybody with this card here. And the Four of Swords, this is taking a stance in what it is that you truly believe in. And it also being a very protective energy. Do you see how the swords are standing in front of the white flowers? I see you as, you as the white flowers, the purity, the pure flowers behind and there being a very protective energy in front of you. So let's ask, oh, we didn't finish here, excuse me. It feels that this person has made a decision or you have made a decision to move forward and to offer this unconditional cup of love here with the Knight of Cups. And what they are coming through with here is this Ten of Pentacles, something that is so full of abundance. This could be financial abundance, but I'm thinking it's talking of longevity. Longevity, building a home together, um, creating, creating a dynamic for you and your family. It could be two families coming together. But it's really beautiful and it brings a lot of peace in your heart. We see the little, see the little violas in the background, which is symbolic of their pansies or violas they're known as heart's ease okay so bringing a lot of peace to your heart at this time and again this connection it feels like they are everything to you that they connect on a mental physical spiritual sexual and emotional relationship you know you have that dynamic between you and that there's an opportunity that is coming up. And this that this is an opportunity not to be missed, is what this is saying here, with all the hands outstretched. Is there anything else that you would like to tell us, Spirit? Anything that else that you'd like to tell us about this relationship? <laughs> okay. Okay. I think we understand truly the message here. We have the Ten of Rods, putting down burdens, being able to put things down and move forward. This is the Divine Masculine that is coming in. There's many paths and options that you are going to be able to look at. But ultimately, ultimately, um, with the Lover's card here, this is a true counterpart who is coming in with vulnerability, with wanting to talk and express themselves. You see how they have cut the heart open here and you can see into the, the chambers. This person is wanting to express everything to you and you to them. Okay. 
thank you so much for being here with me on this youtube channel i love all of your comments i do try and respond to each of you when i get the opportunity happy happy weekend and sending each of you so much love